So the lineups for England and Samoa have been announced for their upcoming final game of Pool D. Now, England have already qualified and they are finishing first in their group for Samoa. They cannot get into the top two. They will be playing for pride, trying to pull off a big win for the end of their Rugby World Cup campaign. We will start with the English starting lineup and reserves. They have made a few changes from what we saw in their last performance up against Chile. Still a very strong team. In the front row will be number one, Ellis Genge, number two, Jamie George, and number three, a start for Dan Cole. So that is the main change that we have seen here. Also the fact that Jamie George back in the starting lineup. I'm looking forward to what he can do in this game for the Rolling Mall. We know Samoa are physical, so everyone in this four pack will want to be. On their A game number four, they have gone with Maro Atoje and number five, Oli Chisholm. So Maro Atoje having a huge amount of minutes throughout this Rugby World Cup competition. They may consider taking him off at half time if it means that he is fresh for those quarterfinals. But I should also mention that more than likely England will be taking on Fiji in the quarterfinals of the Rugby World Cup. So this would actually be a pretty nice match stylistically for the English to get used to that physicality that we will see from Fiji. So that is why they've gone with a few of their best players. Number six, it is Courtney Laws. Number seven, Tom Curry returning from his suspension. And number eight, Ben Earl in the back line. Alex Mitchell once again will be the starting nine with George Ford starting at number 10. He has been having a very good Rugby World Cup so far, getting a lot of the kicks over that he's needed to, including the drop kicks. And it looks like he's got that number 10 jersey cemented as they seem more likely to give Owen Farrell that number 12, number 11. It is Johnny May in the centres. It will be Owen Farrell at number 12 and number 13, Manu Tuolangi. I should mention Farrell will be the captain for England in this game. Number 14, Joe Marchant, and then number 15, close out the side for England. It is Freddie Stewart looking at the reserves. Number 16, Theo Dan, a man who got himself a try last game. A massive moment for the youngster. Number 17, Joe Marler, and number 18, Kyle Sinkler. So a couple experienced veterans coming off the bench for England. Here as well, number 19, George Martin, and number 20, Billy Vunapola. They are the other two forward replacements. Number 21, Danny Kerr. Number 22, Marcus Smith. So two of the Harlequins players getting the chance off the bench. And then number 23 to close out the side for England. It is Ollie Lawrence. But that is the English starting lineup and reserve now looking through at the challenges. Samoa, they too have made a few changes to their side, including a return at fly half. But first of all, the four pack. Number one, Jordan Lane. Number two, it is Summer Malolo. And number three, Michael Alatoa. So the last couple of weeks, they have gone with Brian Aloa Mili in the starting lineup. This week, Alatoa, he is back and he will be captain for this contest. Up against the English in the lock and duo, it is Sam Slade at number four. And number five, Brian Elena Usi. Number six, they've gone Theo McFarlane. Number seven, Fritz Lee. And number eight, Stephen Luatua. So those three have had plenty of opportunities throughout this Rugby World Cup competition. Luatua yet to find his form though in the competition. So hopefully this game is one that he can find it. Also, I should mention no Taleni Su in the starting lineup or reserves for this game in the back line is Jonathan Tamatine as the starting number 9, number 10. They have gone back to Lima Sopawanga, a man who we did see in that original game up against Ireland before the Rugby World Cup competition. He looked decent in that game. He offers a little bit of something different compared to Christian Leliafano, who will be coming off the bench in this one. But Lima Sopawanga, I hope. Does have a good game, number 11. It is Naria Fomai. It is due to Ben Lamb receiving that rear card. In the centres, it is Danny Tuala at number 12 and number 13. Tamua Manu, number 14. They've gone with Nigel Wong. And then at number 15 to close out the side for the Samoans, it is Duncan Paiua. Now, he actually did pretty decently in the centres for the last game when they did make those changes late. At fullback, he's been struggling, so hopefully... A better performance from him. Number 16, Saylala Lamb. Number 17, James Lay. And number 18, Paul Aluamili. So the same for the Samoans is what we are used to seeing in those three positions. Number 19, Soatala Fa'asa'o. He is a brilliant player. Does play number eight normally. So that may be for Luatua. But he's got a huge amount of size to him. It's pretty unlucky that he hasn't had too many minutes throughout this rugby World Cup competition. And I believe he could be an X-Factor player off the bench. 
for the Samoans here, number 20, it is Alamana Matanga, number 21, Milani Matavao, with 22, being Christian Leliafano. And then at number 23, to close out the Samoan side, it is actually Miracle Fire Langi. So going with that extra forward, a 6 2 split here for the Samoans, looking to be physical and ruthless in the later stages of the contest. But England will be enjoying that. They'll want to face that challenge so that they know what to prepare for when they go head to head with the flying Fijians in the Rugby World Cup quarter final. But those are the lineups for these two sides, ladies and gentlemen. This game it is going to be kicking off at 4.45 a.m. on Sunday morning here in New Zealand. We will be covering it live on the channel. It should be an epic contest. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.